Hello dear students, in today's class we are going to talk about center of ring. Now a similar concept is already discussed before in group theory and that is nothing but center of a group. Now what is the difference between center of a group and center of a ring? Not much. As you know in center of a group uh, there was only one binary operation. So whatever the operation between a and x and x and a uh, was of a group okay but in case of ring the binary operation between a and x is multiplication remember in ring there are two operations one is called as addition and another one is called as multiplication so in between a and x note that the operation is multiplication so what is the definition saying center of r is actually collection of all those elements of R that commute with every element of R. Definition is exactly same, not a difference. Only you should note that the binary operation is multiplication, right? Now, if I want to give an example, uh, whatever examples of commutative rings we have, uh, center of those rings is always going to be the entire ring because any element is uh, going to commute with every element of the ring that is going to happen in a commutative ring right therefore center of uh, z and center of q is q and whatever the examples we have discussed before uh, the center of all that commutative rings will be the same ring i mean itself right now the next question is we have to prove this center of a ring is actually a subring of r now the first step is to show center of the ring is non-empty. Now what do you feel which element will commute with every element of the ring and that is nothing but 0 right because 0 multiplied by x and x multiplied by 0 is going to be 0 right and whatever may be the choice of x this will be 0 this will be 0 only remember this 0 is not our usual 0 it is actually the additive identity in a ring so what we will say as 0 dot x is equal to x dot 0 for all x belongs to r therefore center of r is non-empty no issues for subset so we'll say clearly center of ring is a subset of r now we will move towards proving two properties but for that two properties we need two arbitrary elements where from where kutle kutle by jete don arbitrary elements the two arbitrary elements should be from the set that we have to show it is a subring so in this case here we have to show center of r is a subring so from that we will need two elements we'll call them as a and b so we'll say let a and b belongs to center of r be any elements what is the meaning of this since this R from center, this element will commute with every element of the ring. So I'll say this implies Ax will be equal to Xa and Bx will be equal to Xb for all x belongs to R. Let us call it as 1. Now the first condition is to show the multiplication Ab belongs to center of R. Now when will be AB in center of R? If AB commutes with every element of R and uh, uh, thus let us take one arbitrary element of the ring. So we will say let X belongs to R and we will show that ABX is actually equal to what? XAB. So I will consider ABX. So ABX will be actually equal to what? ABX by simple associative property of ring right but what is bx from 1 we already know the value of bx that is nothing but xb again associative property this is same as axb again we can use 1 ax is nothing but xa this is b again associative property this is xab so what we have shown here therefore this abx is actually equal to x a b for all x belongs to r and therefore a b belongs to 
center of arc. Now similarly, in the second condition, we have to show the subtraction of A and B, right, belongs to center of arc. Process is same. Again, we will take one arbitrary element from ring. So, we will say let x belongs to R. Now, I will consider this A minus B into x. Process will be same. This is same as Ax minus Bx. Multiplication distributes over addition property. But what is Ax? Xa that is from 1, right? Similarly, what is this? Xb. Again, using multiplication distributes over addition, this will be x into a minus b. <coughs> Sorry. Therefore, what we have proved is a minus b x is actually equal to x a minus b for all x belongs to R. In other words, we have shown that a minus b commutes with every element of the ring and therefore a minus b belongs to center of R. Thus, both the conditions of subring is satisfied. So, we will say thus center of ring either said this or therefore therefore center of ring is a subring of r okay. that is what we wanted to show